Okay, inheritance. In this lecture, I'm going to tell you what is inheritance and why we use it. Then I'm going to show you an example of inheritance using UML notation. UML stands for Unified Modeling Language, and it's a graphical language for representing classes and their collaboration. And finally, I will show you the syntax of inheritance in C Sharp, and then we'll do some coding. So let's get started. What is inheritance? Inheritance is simply a kind of relationship between two classes that allows one to inherit code from the other. It's usually referred to as is a relationship. For example, we can say a car is a vehicle. With inheritance, we get code reuse. That means we encapsulate some common code in one class and then we reuse that in other classes. Inheritance also provides polymorphic behavior, which is extremely powerful. But it's beyond the scope of this section. There is a separate section in this course called polymorphism, and that's where you will learn about polymorphic behavior. For this section, let's just see how we can use inheritance to get code reuse. Imagine we want to design an application like PowerPoint. Here I'm using Keynote on Mac, which is similar to PowerPoint on Windows. So on this slide, we can have objects like a shape, text, a table, and an image. All these objects have some common attributes. For example, they have a width, a height, and a position. They also have some common behavior. For example, if I right click on this shape here, you see bring to front, send to back, cut, copy, duplicate, and so on. If our job is to develop an application like PowerPoint or Keynote, we can create classes for each of these objects. For example, we can have a class called shape, we can have a class called text, a class called table, and a class called image. Now, we don't want to duplicate all these common behavior and attributes in all these classes. So that's where we can use inheritance to write code once and reuse it in multiple contexts. Here is the UML representation of the candidate classes for our PowerPoint application. So at a high level, we can have a presentation object class which is where we encapsulate those common behavior and attributes. Then we can have classes like text, table, and image, which inherit from presentation object. In this example, we refer to presentation object as a parent or a base class. Some people also refer to it as a superclass. Text, table, and image are referred to as child, derived, or subclasses. In terms of syntax, here is how we implement inheritance in C-sharp. So here we simply create our common class, which is presentation object, and then we create a new class like text that inherits from that. We implement inheritance by simply appending a colon and the name of the base class after declaration of the child class. Okay, now let's start coding and see this concept in action. Okay, let's start by creating a class called presentation object. This class is going to be the parent or base of other classes. So public class presentation object. And here we can define a couple of properties like width and height. And a couple of methods like copy and duplicate. I'm going to leave the implementation very easy. So we just simply output a message on the console. So console the right line, object copied to clipboard. Object was duplicated. Now let's put this class in a separate file. So back here with resharper, alt and enter and enter. Done. Now back to our program.cs, let's create a new class that derives from presentation object. For example, text presentation object. So this is the inheritance notation. We just put a colon here and the name of the base class. Note that in C sharp, a class can have only one parent. Now let's define a few properties or methods that are specific to the text class. So for example, font size or font name and maybe a method to add a hyperlink to a text. Void add hyperlink. 
string URL. Now, you may argue that we may need this feature on every presentation object, and that's perfectly valid. But for the sake of this example, let's just add this method here because I want to demonstrate the difference between a parent and a child class. So simply console.write line, we added a link to plus URL. Okay, to clean up our code, we go here and put this in a separate file. Okay, let's go back to our program.cs. Here, I would like to create an object of type text. So var text equals new text. Now we type text dot. Okay, here, as you see, we have members that are defined in the text class itself, like add hyperlink, font name, font size. But we also have members that we inherited from the parent class, which is presentation object. That includes copy method, duplicate method, height, and width properties. We also have a few methods that we define in neither the presentation object nor the text class. That includes the equals method here, or get hash code, or get type, or to string. These methods are defined in the object class, which is the parent of all classes in .NET. So when you create a class, even if you don't specify the object class as its parent, it automatically inherits the members defined in the object class. I'll cover the object class in more details when we get to the section about inheritance. But what I want you to take away from this lecture is that we added some common functionality in the presentation object class that includes a couple of properties like width and height and two methods like copy and duplicate. And we inherited all this code in the text class using inheritance. Now let's go back to program.cs and finish up this task. So text.width equals 100, text.copy. Let's run the application. So we got the message object copy to clipboard. And the implementation of that was in the parent class. Again, I'll cover inheritance in more details in the section called inheritance. For this section, all I want you to take away is that inheritance is a kind of relationship or association between classes. And it has two benefits. One is code reuse. Another one is polymorphic behavior, which we'll learn about soon. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and thank you for watching.